Hey guys, it's Mr. Scotty Pie here. I can show you my face today, so look at you. Uh, today I am talking about the new Sophie Audrey Doctor Who book at Childhood's End. As you can see, I do have a signed copy. Signed right there by Sophie Audrey. She's pretty cool. Um, I've recently finished this book and I was going to give my review on it, my thoughts on it. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a spoiler review. Uh, so if you haven't read the book yet, uh, maybe go and watch the video, turn off now. Or watch it anyway, to give me some view times. Um, so yeah, obviously this is the debut novel by uh, Sophie Aldred. Um, this is a mix between her character Ace, obviously I can tell by the uh, title of the book, at Child's End, A-C-E, Ace. Uh, where she is in modern day times at her age, uh, I believe she says she's 50 in the book, um, and she gets to meet with the 13th Doctor and the Fam, which is obviously Gray and Ryan and Yaz from the uh, 11th and 12th series. Um, she is now working as a uh, in charity, uh, well, disguised as charity, but obviously doing unit work. Um, and she comes across um, some something going on on the moon. So her and her NASA astronaut ex-boyfriend go and see what it is and bump into the Doctor and the fam. <clears throat> and obviously usual Doctor Who story, they go and tackle the enemy. And obviously off-world stuff, on-world stuff, fantastic, um, different stories, interesting. Um, some things I did really like in the book, obviously with the um, Sylvester McCoy era and Ace, the story was never actually concluded due to the um, the show being taken off air. So you did find out a bit more actually what happened and why Ace is now um, on Earth. All those years later, not with the Doctor, you actually get a conclusion of that, which is actually really interesting, actually. The, um, if you want to know what actually happened between those two, obviously I've not, I've not really got much delved into the Big Finish story as much, but this actually explains why the relationship ended, and it's really interesting, actually. I'm not going to go too much into it. I said it's a bit of a spoiler review, but I'm not going to spoil it that much. I'd, uh, you should read this book. It is... A spoiler from when the review comes up, a really good book if you're a Doctor Who fan. I say as a Doctor Who fan, I think if you're going into this not knowing the characters of Ace and Doctor Who and the fam, this will be confusing for you. Uh, luckily, I've not long watched for the first time season 26, so um, this is all, I've, it's all fresh in my memory and I know of the relationship between the Doctor and Ace and obviously so it helps me a lot because it does references Ace's stories a few times but including as quite a lot of Curse of Fenric and a bit of Survival and obviously a bit of Dragonfire as well when you first meet Ace it references those stories I've not actually got around to um, Dragonfire yet so that bit I just kind of pieced together but it was fine I got on with that perfectly fine but yeah, if I don't think if you're a Die Hard Doctor Who fan, maybe this isn't the book for you. But if you are and you're a fan of the classic series, and I think it helps if you're into the new series as well, um, you'll really enjoy this book. With the new series, he talks of the you get introduced to the characters of the new series. Um, the <clears throat> the way they're written is really well. You have to read it in their voices because there's no other way to read it because. Um, I know Sophie Audrey wrote this book, but she wrote it in collaboration with two other people. I'm not sure who they are. Yeah, they're Steve Cole and Mike Tucker. Obviously, them three working together, they've really captured the voice of those characters. So, you get all classically reading Ryan and Ryan's voice, and Gray and Gray's voice, and Yaz in her voice. So, that's fantastic as well. And same as obviously with Ace, because, you know, she wrote it, so it's in her voice, and where she thinks she is in her life at that time, which is really interesting. And also you get all the characters as well, like the little girl from Survival, you now see her all grown up. And you get um, a character with a TV, investigative character as well. Um, she's an alright character, but obviously you're mainly reading it for the characters you know, Ace, 
the Doctor and the Fam. Um, which is really good. The conclusion of this book's fantastic. I'm hoping we get some more actually, because I would like to see more of what's going on with Ace now. Uh, I think there's a lot to tell of her story still, and I would like to know more. So I'm hoping she does um, delve into the writing a bit more again. Oh, it's got to change back cover that, which is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, got Ace there and the Doctor there, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, so as I said, as a Doctor Who fan, I think this is a must read. If you're not a Doctor Who fan, probably give it a miss. Um, if you have read this book, I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd love to get a bit of discussion going on it. Maybe you didn't like it as much as I did. Maybe you liked it more. Uh, let me know. Uh, as I said, this is maybe the second Doctor Who book I've ever read. I've really read a War Doctor book as well. Um, maybe you could recommend me some more to read. That'd be absolutely fantastic. I'd really enjoy to read some more Doctor Who books. Um, or some good big finish to carry on with. I've, as I said, I've, this is my first big finish all of the drama the other day because they gave some free ones out. So I thought I'd give them a try. Could, if you could recommend me some really good um, all the dramas, maybe not just obviously Ace and Sylvester McCoy, but others, that'd be absolutely brilliant. I'd really appreciate that. And I can do some reviews for them as well as I uh, listen to them. Um, I'm about to also finish reading the Christopher Eccleston autobiography, so I'm going to be giving that a read. Um, obviously, I'll give that a review. Now that'll probably come out next week, hopefully, as I'm quite close to finishing that. Uh, so if you want to catch up on that, maybe drop me a subscribe, and obviously you'll get notified when that's released. I do have a few of the Doctor Who videos um, in my um, videos list, so if you want to give them a watch, please feel free to go back and watch them. If you do like this video, please drop it a like because I am really enjoying making these Doctor Who videos at the moment and I would like to continue making them. And so if you drop me a like, I know that I'm going down the right path on them. Because um, I've done obviously some various other videos in the past talking about different things in the nerd culture. And I'll probably still continue to make them, but at the moment I'm on a Doctor Who binge. So obviously if you look at my video past videos, the last couple have been Doctor Who. And I'm hoping to continue that for a little bit. I'm thinking about doing some reviews on the episodes I'm watching. Because I'm going back to watching Classic Era Doctor Who for the first time. Um, so maybe I can do some reviews on them, which I'm thinking about doing. If you happen, if you did enjoy the video, say drop it a like. If you didn't, drop it a dislike, that's absolutely fine. Um, if you want to have a chat, drop me a comment. And we're having a conversation. If you don't have a chat, you let me know in the comments. And I hope you have a good evening, morning, night, daytime, whenever you're watching this. I hope it's a good one for you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.